everybody. It's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have an 8 by 8 inch canvas, a smaller one, and I'm going to do, um, it is the bloom technique, and I got this idea from Kathleen Miller, uh, and her channel is... Kathleen Miller paint paint pouring by Kathleen Miller so if you get a chance check her channel out this is what she calls her drizzle swipe wreck and spin and that is what I'm going to do and um, let's go over my my base coat is uh, Sherwin Williams house paint my colors I'm using today are a combination of Deco Art Metallics Crystal Green, Deco Art Metallics Festive Green. I just wanted to um, dull this one down a little bit, so I am using a combination of those two. And my next color is Folk Art, the Treasure Gold Rose Gold. And my last, my next color, excuse me, is the Deco Art Metallics Deep Sapphire. And the rest of the colors I'm using today are the uh, Color Art Primary Element pigments. And the first one is the, the teal zircon, very pretty teal color. And the next color is the Primary Elements Sunburst. And the little color is right there on the cap. That's what I do after I use it for the first time so I know what the actual color looks like. And my last one is actually um, a Color Art Bling It Mica Powder, and it's the Interference Red. It looks white, but it is an Interference Red. And the pouring medium I used for all of these colors is one tablespoon of uh, triple thick polyurethane, and one tablespoon of the Vivid Enamel, which is also um, a color art product. And, you do, and I used about a little scoop, this little scoop of both the little, the pigments and the paint. That's all I needed. And I will show you, here is one of the paints, okay? And if you need to thin those at all, Kathleen said to use this Josana glass varnish. And that is what I did. I put about two drops in each little cup. And then my cell activator today is just the uh, Amsterdam Mars Black. And I, you mix that. I'm going by her recipe. It's one ounce of Floetrol to one teaspoon of paint. So let's get started with just drizzling my paint on my canvas. And she says to go way out to the outside, which I'm doing here. And here's that combination of that green color. This is that Deep Sapphire by DecoArt. Very pretty color. And Kathleen has done many, many of these type of paintings. So if you get a chance, go to her channel. She even did, recently did, um, devoted a whole video to uh, her recipe for this. So it is worth watching if you're interested in doing a pour like this. This is that teal color. And the sunburst. And 
I just try and make sure that there's a little bit of each color in every section. And here is the bling it, the interference, interference red. Put that one on last. Okay, now, the next step is, I take my cell activator and I put it in a container like this and I just take a regular playing card and I'm dipping my card in that cell activator and you don't want to press down, you just want to lightly go over the top of your paint. And I will go over this again. And I am wiping my card off after every swipe. And I will get a new card. Swipe down here again. And now I will do the other side. And just a little bit on that other end there. Okay. And now what she does is she wrecks it. So I'm going to take my skewer and just run it through here and there. Okay, that's good. And I'm just gonna let it set there just a second to let the cells come up. And then we're going to spin it. See what we get. And if you see some air bubbles, you can go ahead and pop them the bigger ones. Okay, let's give this a spin, see what we get. Okay, give it another spin.
Okay. We'll keep spinning. Looking very pretty. Okay, I'm going to spin some more. I just want the paint to get over this edge and this edge here. I think I will just put a little bit more of my base coat here to maybe help that over. Sometimes if you have paint that can meet with paint, it can uh, go over a little better. Okay, give it another spin. Looking very, very pretty. And I'm going to give it one more spin. Very happy with that and I think I will pick it up and just tip it a little bit see if I can get the paint to move a little bit would like to get that a little bit more into the center the black part there okay I think I will give it one more spin and then I can get you down for a close-up. Okay, one more spin. Okay, I'm going to get you down for a close-up and see what you think. Okay, here's our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner, and I'm hoping that you can see some of this shimmer and shine in this painting. The colors just turned out beautiful. And we're coming down to the lower, lower left-hand corner, and I'll take you up the middle. I really like that I used that black as the cell activator. Very beautiful in here. Really pretty. And here is the upper right hand corner. And I will be giving this another try, that's for sure. It was a lot of fun. Again, check out Kathleen Miller's channel. And I will put her uh, channel name in my description so you can check it out. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. Until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.